So we have some breaking news, and I feel like this is news that a lot of people have been waiting a, uh, a pretty long time for. Tesla has finally been included into the S&P 500. It is now one of the top 10 companies in the top 500 performing companies in the United States. The S&P Dow Jones indices announced on Monday that Tesla will join the S&P 500, effective prior to trading on Monday, December 21st. Upon entry, Tesla is already one of the S&P 500's top 10 most valuable companies based on Monday's closing prices. Tesla was snubbed in September after it met criteria to be included in the S&P 500 but was not initially picked by the S&P 500 Index Committee. So for any reason, if a company does meet the requirements to join the S&P 500, whether it be the four consecutive quarters of profitability or the $8 billion market cap or the high volume in shares traded, even if they meet the criteria, they don't have to add them in. But now I feel like enough time has passed for Tesla's profitability. If you want a really good recap of the S&P 500 inclusion, I would definitely recommend you guys follow Tesla daily. But if you do follow Tesla, I'm sure you guys already are. I think Rob Maurer is an excellent source for anything Tesla related. Um, this guy knows his stuff. So with the inclusion of Tesla to the S&P 500, major funds are now going to have to reallocate billions of dollars into Tesla now that it's part of the S&P 500. The S&P 500 is basically a benchmark of the performance of the top 500 companies, and a lot of retirement portfolios are invested heavily in these companies. And I should add that it's essentially required for them to buy stocks in the S&P 500 because these are retirement funds and they need to have some kind of security in the assets that they're invested in. The index looks over all of these companies and determines whether a company is consistent enough to be in the index. And if it passes all the tests and requirements that they have, then they're eventually included into the index. But anyways, the whole point is that now that they're included in the S&P 500, all of this money is going to have to move in and there's not enough shares in float to compensate for all of the shares that they need to purchase. So indirectly, the lack of shares that are going to be sold for the funds that are going to be trying to buy them is going to eventually run the prices up. When you're trading stocks, you have buyers and sellers of a company. And if you don't have enough sellers willing to sell their stock at a certain price, then eventually the buyers are going to have to offer more money to get those same shares from the sellers. So the result of this is that price is going to be pushed up because there's not enough supply of Tesla shares for buyers. So while I can't say exactly how high it would push price, we have to remember that there are also people shorting this stock right now on margin who owe their brokers in the event that they have to close those trades, also known as margin calls. So this lack of supply of Tesla shares combined with a ton of people shorting the stock, I think could really push Tesla stock way beyond the $500 mark. Now how high I think it can go, I'm not entirely sure, but I think that if we do break the $500 barrier, it's gonna be very easy to get to that $600 barrier. Because now from 500 to 600 is just a 20% difference versus 300 to $400. Now I'm sure everyone watching this knows that in 10 years, Tesla is gonna be a colossal company. I think very few of us have doubts about that. I am not one of those people. But in today's time frame, this is gonna be a very good catalyst to pushing Tesla even higher. So if you've been holding Tesla and you're wondering why it's been going sideways, I feel like this is what everyone was waiting for, especially the big funds. Now, I don't believe the funds are buying this exactly on December 21st. I think they're able to buy shares of Tesla before December 21st, and they'll be able to buy some after December 21st. I feel like if they try to pull all that money into Tesla in one day, we, I think we would see some very uh, roller coaster activity in Tesla stock price. But that's not going to be the case. It's definitely going to be spread out across maybe a few weeks. I would even say from now through December 21st. So we might see price running up little by little from now through December. Now remember that stocks tend to drop at the end of the year because of tax reasons for the following year. So also keep that in mind going into next month. But overall, I think this is a really good thing for Tesla stock. And it's going to be really exciting to see what happens to uh, the stock price going forward. I will also say I am a Tesla shareholder, so I am putting my money where my mouth is. But anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and you should even consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit the bell notification to get notified when I make videos just like this one. But anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.